Hey, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Evan. I'm a personal trainer, and this is my channel where I talk about health, fitness, and other fun stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, please press the subscribe button. It really helps me out as well as I hope that the content that I bring you helps you out on your own fitness journey. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate you and your support. Hopefully again, this information helps with you and your fitness journey. Again, thank you. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Today's video is actually a continuation of the last video I posted, which was the 80-20 rule. I gave out just very simple kind of guidelines to this rule and that um, it was very simple and hopefully it was easy to follow. In this video, I just want to give you a little bit more tangible things to take away from so that you can apply this to your life and also to not get caught up in the rules of it because I know that sometimes if it's too rigid, then we can go into bad places and we don't want that. So the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 nutrition, 20% fun food. What do I mean by that? I guess how I would describe it really is that getting your nutrition nutritional needs met first and then after that that 20% after don't worry about it the fun foods uh, I'm not saying that they're bad foods or good foods the fun foods those are the foods that are guilt-free like if you want to have a slice of pizza have a slice of pizza if you want to have wings on the weekend with your girl like I do you're more than welcome to do that 80% focusing on getting your nutritional needs met first so what does that look like for me getting a uh, sufficient amount of protein every single day. So having protein at every meal, having a colorful arrangement of fruits and vegetables, eat the rainbow, and staying hydrated, drinking enough water so that I'm hydrated and I feel good. So 80% of the time I wanna focus on getting my nutritional needs met. That extra 20%, so say it's the end of the day, I've eaten all the meals that I've had and I have calories left in the tank. I've already gotten my protein, I've gotten my vegetables. It's the end of the day. Maybe I'm feeling like a little bit of ice cream. Go ahead and have a couple scoops. Doesn't like that's okay. Totally fine. If you want to have a beer at the end of the night, go and have that beer. As long as like you're not overdoing it. If like it's okay to indulge, it's not okay to overindulge. So if you are having more beers than food, that might be a problem. Just like if you're having more ice cream, if you're like basically if you're having more highly processed foods than non-processed foods, there's maybe a little bit of an imbalance there. And that's what I mean by the 80-20 rule is creating balance to focusing a little bit more on your nutritional needs and focusing on more on your health than on highly palatable processed foods. Your 80% may look different than my 80%. We have we may have different nutritional needs and that's totally okay. Now, as far as with what you can take away from this video is that say that you eat around three meals a day. Now, three meals a day times seven, you got 21 meals. Out of those 21 meals that you'll have during the week, just think of it this way is that four of those meals, so four of those meals, have fun. Don't worry about it, enjoy them. Don't overindulge, focus on like healthy eating habits, like eating slowly, eating until 20% or eating until 80% full. It's all about like not having a crazy attachment to food it's more so, no, enjoy your food, but also the main focus should be what is gonna be helping me get my nutritional needs met, as well as what's gonna help me feel good physically. And then enjoy, or once I get that knocked out, then I can enjoy, you know, sushi, or I can enjoy beer, wings, pizza, nachos, all that fun stuff, right? That's what I mean by the 80-20 rule, as far as with your own guidelines that you set forth for yourself. So that can be, I wanna limit myself to having six drinks a week. I want to have maybe two meals of eating out where I keep it under a thousand calories, but it could be very different for you. So these are just examples of what the 80-20 rule can look like. It's about setting things in place to where you're focusing on your health first, you're focusing on getting nutritional needs met, and then enjoying the foods when you go out and not having to worry about it. 
and that's the main main focus I want to get to this video as far as with like the 80 20 rule too that 80 percent you think has to be the this like boring like broccoli chicken rice type of thing it doesn't have to be necessarily that like you should focus on finding foods less processed foods that you personally enjoy and that you can eat every day and some of you say like I get bored with food that's okay you find other foods to kind of switch out but what I'm really just trying to say is that 80 percent it doesn't have to be boring that can also be fun food as well it could just be less calorie dense and more nutrition dense and something that you can enjoy every single day so that's a, another thing i wanted to bring up as well is that even though it's 80 percent, it's like maybe it's like focusing more so just on the nutritional aspect of it but it could still be fun as well and what's healthy for you may not be healthy for somebody else and um, don't judge others for what they deem is healthy or not healthy just focus on your own health and what are the better choices for yourself because that at the end of the day it's about you and your health and fitness journey that's it for today guys i hope that this was helpful um, if you like this video please like the video if you found it helpful and you think that somebody else should see this share this video and then also comment down in the comments below to let me know what you want me to talk about more and uh, please 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 i'm always open for suggestions of what i should talk about as far as when it comes to health and fitness i can't talk about it if you don't let me know so let me know in the comments below and uh, i will see you guys in the next one have a great weekend and uh yeah peace bye